Hi, this is Justice, and in this video we're going to be talking about Rebel 4's canvas. The canvas in Rebel 4 is very different than the canvas in a typical digital art program, where you have a background and a background color, and that's about it. Inside of Rebel 4 you have texture, and that texture affects where the water and where the paint goes on the canvas. You have gravity, so if you tilt the canvas one way or the other, the paint is going to get pulled by gravity by tilt across that plane down or to the side or backwards depending on which way either your canvas is tipped or your computer is tipped if you have an accelerometer and you have that feature turned on. Your canvas is also going to affect the paint based off of how wet it is. If you've got a really wet canvas then the paint's going to flow all over it. If you have a dry canvas it's going to stay put. The paper, the canvas, in Rebel 4 also has absorbency rates. It has the ability to influence your paint based off of the height of the paint. It also has texture influence, which means that these little dots right here are actually going to behave like little mountains and valleys. And most of these settings can be controlled inside of the visual settings window that you can get to from up here or from this little icon right down here inside of layers. So here you can see visual settings. You have different presets you can choose from or create your own. Rewet, absorbency, texture influence, edge sharpening, create drips. And down here at the bottom, you have canvas visibility, where you can change the paper texture visibility and the paint texture visibility. All right, let's go ahead and look at how the canvas responds to being wet or dry. Let's start by adding just a little bit of water. So we're going to go here to the left with the water tool. We're going to add some water to the screen. And we can see this water because we have show wet turned on. So here we're going to turn that off. You see it hides. We're going to click it and turn it back on. You can use keyboard shortcut H in order to do that. Okay, so we have just this little bit wet. And let's make everything on the screen wet. So we're going to use this icon right here, wet the layer. And now you see everything turned wet. Now water has an interesting property where you cannot make mountains in a pool of water. All the water always goes to a common height. The volume of water may increase and you have water tension that will hold the water in at the edge even as it goes and bubbles up a little bit higher and eventually it will spill out and drip. And that's one of the cool living features, active features inside of Rebel Forest Canvas. So here, let's go ahead and we're going to dry the entire layer right here, and we're going to make a puddle. All right, so here's a puddle, and we're going to add more volume to the body of water, more and more volume. And you'll see here that the water will actually push out to the edge, to the edge of this little, uh, little puddle that we made. Let's go ahead and do the same thing, but with some color. So now we can't see that unless we turn on the show wet. Let's go ahead and we're going to paint right over half of it. And you're going to see the difference between a wet edge and a dry edge. So down here is more wet. And so you can see that the paint flows towards the wetter areas. The water pulls the paint into those areas. Let's go ahead and use that water tool again. And let's drag down and now let's use the blow tool and let's push that paint down there. Now you're going to see that the water wants to go to the wet areas. And we can use this to our advantage in a lot of ways inside of Rebel 4. Let's add some water directly into the middle. And you can see here it's pushing out towards the edge, just like water would do on a regular canvas. All right, so we're going to pause diffusion and we're going to try a very similar thing, but on an entirely wet canvas. So we're going to use this button right next to the pause diffusion button, wet the layer. So here you can see the water is over here where we were just working. Now we're going to wet the entire canvas and we're going to do a similar thing. Let's choose the watercolor brush and let's paint 
a nice big circle and unpause diffusion. Well, that's just for fun. Let's add a couple colors. Uh, I really enjoy this. All right. And you can see now that all these areas that were dry and there, there was water tension, that has disappeared. We can use the blow tool here and you can see how it affects the paint, just like you were blowing on that area with a straw. And let's add a little bit more water. And you can see how that water, again, that water, the wetness of the paper really influences everything here. So we have another button here called dry the layer. We're going to click dry the layer. So what that's going to do, that is going to dry the entire layer. All the water is gone. We have a button right next to it, fast dry. And all that's going to do is that is going to remove the excess water so that the water is not moving. Now let's introduce our friend gravity. So we have tilt over here. And we can turn tilt on by clicking on the little gray circle in the center. This is going to turn tilt on and off. And then we can adjust the strength and the angle of the tilt by this little blue line. If we make that line short, it's going to be weaker. And if we drag it all the way to the edge, it's going to be stronger tilt. So let's use that watercolor brush again. You're going to see the water pulls down to the side. We're slightly tilted here. Let's put it straight down. We can use shift to get it to lock to straight down. And now if we turn the canvas, just like in real life, if this was sitting on an easel, you're going to see that that tilt affects how the water moves on the canvas. Now you can choose to lock the tilt to the canvas and that's going to interrupt that. You can also choose to use the accelerometer and I'm going to demonstrate that for you right now. So here you can see I'm holding my device. Let's do red right here in the center of the canvas. Let's turn tilt off. Turn use accelerometer on. Add a little bit of extra water. All right, now let's see, you can see the accelerometer here as I'm tipping, you can see it going all the different ways. <laughs> uh, that's so cool. All right, let's add some more water. And let me use the blow tool at the same time. The amount of control that you actually have using a device like this is really incredible. And let's go ahead and wet the entire layer just for fun. I feel like I should be able to actually physically blow on the canvas. All right, let's go ahead and clear this. Uh, by the way, this clear layer button here can be found in preferences. If you want to turn that on, there's the option to turn that on, add clear layer button to layers panel. So let's jump into the oils. And what we're going to do is we're going to adjust a couple things. You can see the uh, impasto depth is actually pretty decent. We're going to go into visual settings, we're going to increase the impasto depth, and then we're also going to adjust texture influence. Let's put this up at eight and we're going to close this. We're going to go back to watercolor, the screen, I'm going to put it right over the top of this and let's add some water to get this moving. What you're going to see is, is how the water is affected by the height of the oil texture. Let's go ahead and add some more paint here. Let's go all the way up onto it. And you can see how right here, you can see that following that edge of that 
higher paint. If we put this all the way up, texture influence, you can see how much it traces the layers of paint. This is <laughs> it's so cool. So cool. This is just another one of the ways that Rebel 4 excels. I love this about Rebel 4. So cool. So great. Now let's go ahead and add some orange right up here at the top. You can see my accelerometer. Let's adjust the tilt. <laughs> That's really fantastic. Let's look at absorbency. So here we're going to set the absorbency to zero. So what you're going to see here is that the paint doesn't absorb into the paper. It just keeps moving outwards. So this is going to be fairly uniform. The color is going to uh, work its way to the very edges of the, and the color is going to work its way out. Let's put absorbency all the way up to 10 and do that same thing. And you can see here on this one, the color is going to absorb into the paper or into the canvas where we actually applied the paint in the beginning. So a very different look and a different feel for how your, your colors work with the canvas. As you can see, the canvas inside of Rebel 4 has a lot of physics applied to it that really gives you a lot of control and power over how the paint moves and the water moves inside of your canvas. So if you want to select a canvas in the new artwork file new option, you can select it here. You can click here on canvas and choose different types of canvases which have different textures, which affect the paint differently. Let's go ahead and choose washi. And then canvas color is right here. Use deckled edges. This option is right here. I'll select OK. And you can see the canvas has these beautiful edges. It has a different texture that's going to affect the paint differently while you're painting on it. And you can also adjust these settings by clicking in layers. You can select canvas right here and adjust these after you've started painting to a different color, a different texture, and deckled edges on or off. All right, you guys, that's it for this video on the canvas. Stay tuned for more. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Until next time, stay creative and have a wonderful day.